Hello and welcome to this webinar. Thank you everyone for giving up your time on this Sunday afternoon at 5 p.m. Uh, you must be serious about getting your mojo back and becoming more of a man. So um, I just want to thank you for your investment of your time um, on this precious Sunday afternoon and for being here and trusting me so uh, let's let's move on. Now, who is this webinar for? If you're over 30 and you experience any of the following, low mental and physical energy, low confidence and self-esteem, a plummeting sex drive or libido, and a lack of sex appeal, a lack of motivation and enthusiasm to try new things, lack of mental clarity, a lack of lean muscle mass and a muscle definition, fat or weight gain, I put weight in inverted commas there because I think it's an absolute farce, you'll understand why if you stay with me. So fat gain leading to fear of taking a shirt off in public or in intimate situations, man boobs, uh, low testosterone levels and embarrassingly low sperm counts. If you suffer from any of these, chances are you may actually be experiencing low testosterone and you'll figure out soon why it's not your fault. So who is this not for? If you're looking for some kind of quick fix solution or magic pill formula or a band-aid solution, as you say over here in the US, you may, you may notice I'm not actually from the US. I know most of you guys are from the US, but I'm not. And we don't say Band-Aid, we say plaster. But anyway, um, if you're looking for a Band-Aid solution, uh, this is not the right place. I'm afraid it's not for lazy people. We, uh, we do need to put a bit of effort in to become the best version of ourselves. Um, it takes commitment, it takes determination, it takes focus. Um, yeah, it takes forming new habits. I was going to say willpower, but that has a negative connotation, a connotation associated with it. So it takes focus and establishing new habits. Um, anyone not willing to commit to positive lifestyle changes that can only benefit you in the long term? And people who expect different results by doing the same thing over and over again. That's Einstein's definition of insanity, for those not aware. So you're about to discover how to increase your sex appeal and resurrect your sex drive from an early grave and easily restore your, your confidence and self-esteem without fancy seminars. In this session, I'm going to show you how I personally got into the best shape of my life at the age of 34 by implementing some very simple changes that very few people know about after suffering from a rather embarrassing condition. You'll also discover how to burn fat faster than ever before, how to build muscle and how to completely naturally increase your testosterone so you can get your mojo back. These, are the sa these same techniques have worked for thousands of other people, uh, many of whom you'll see in the limelight. So what is your mojo? If you look in the English Oxford Dictionary, it's a magic charm or talisman or spell. Thank you, Austin Powers, for bringing the term mojo to the forefront. I think if you're, unless you're 90, you probably haven't heard of mojo being mentioned but if you're under 90, I'm guessing you have. Um, I like to think of it, a man's mojo as his ability, by being the best version of himself, to attract not only his perfect partner, but also the best people, like friends and peers and business associates and opportunities. Some like to say alpha male. So what, what is the alpha male? So this is my definition, or... Yeah, this is my definition. Are you radiating confidence but not arrogant? Are you strong both mentally and physically but not a bully? Are you a leader but not a dictator? Are you assertive but not controlling? Are you caring but not obsessive? Are you the best version of yourself to yourself and to others? That's what I think of when I think of the alpha male. And I've come to those kind of definitions by reading around um, yeah, various books, dating books, confidence books. Uh, yeah, let's move on.
So leave this webinar and you will miss a priceless roadmap to success that if you implement starting today, you will definitely increase your testosterone, confidence and your mojo. One of the weirdest ways to increase testosterone that I can almost guarantee you won't have heard of, and it has nothing to do with diet or exercise. Also an opportunity to be coached to become the best version of yourself. I'm going to be up front. I'm going to make you an offer right at the end of this webinar. So there's no surprises. There it is. I am going to offer you, you, you an opportunity, but you will also get tremendous value just by being here. So does this sound like you? Your alarm goes off during the week and you're far from excited for the day ahead. You're unmotivated. You don't live with passion. You're not living your ideal dream life. You live on autopilot and miss those, those magic moments that happen every day. You don't have much sex. If you do, you want more of it and you realize your sex drive and sex appeal has plummeted. You lack confidence. You're not assertive and struggle to make decisions. You lack your mojo. You're out of shape and you keep telling yourself, I must start working out and being healthier. Mañana, mañana, as the Spanish would say. Are you spending your time in survival mode? It's when you wake up, you just survive during the day, you get your stuff done, kind of, half-heartedly. You go to sleep, you wake up, you survive, get your stuff done, half-heartedly, go to sleep, wake up, survive, sleep, wake up, survive. Not much fun, not much of a life. <clears throat> so many people settle for far less than they're capable of, far less than what they're worth. And it's my aim to make sure you're not one of those. Maybe you're already doing some amazing things. I have no idea, but I'm going to help you become even better. So what's the real problem? In my view, reality is this. It's breasts. That's the problem. No, that's not the problem. The, um, the real problem is we are surrounded by the female hormone estrogen, and it's causing havoc with men. And indeed, women. We love estrogen on women, but we men don't do so well with it. Let me tell you about a few scientific studies. So studies done in lakes and rivers in the UK and the US have revealed an alarming number of gender bending chemicals that were causing the feminization of fish. Male fish are growing eggs. Male fish aren't meant to have eggs. Male fish do not normally have eggs. I was about to say what they did have, but I don't know what they have. All I know is they're not meant to have eggs. So a third of male fish in English rivers are changing sex due to gender-bending pollution, alarming research shows. Experts say female hormones from the contraceptive pill and HRT, that's hormone re replacement therapy, are being washed into our rivers and causing male fish to produce eggs. So... That's pretty scary, right? That's uh, something weird is happening in the waters. So alligators too. Weirdly enough, alligators' penises are shrinking. Also otters. Yeah, I've not included that, but otters too. They're, they're suffering, and it's due to estrogenic chemicals in lakes in the US. I say estrogen. Uh, in the UK, we say estrogen, but since I'm in the US, and most of you guys are from the US, I'm saying estrogen. So just uh, a little FYI for you. Here's a quote from research findings in 1991. In the Florida lake, penis sizes among alligators were 24% smaller than their counterparts in other Floridian lakes. How this affects you, estrogen and estrogen-mimicking chemicals are causing men to be feminized. Fact. I'm going to play you something. This is from a TED conference. Um, and, yeah. Listen, it's pretty scary stuff. Can you let me know if you don't hear it? Um, so here goes. There's a few very strange things going on out in the environment in a minute. You'll, uh, can you hear that? You'll see how this is related to food in a few minutes. Time. Yep. Alligators, penises. Yep, condition. okay, you can hear that. Good news for the alligators. There's a particular lake in, in the States called Lake Apopka in Florida, another lake next door, door to called Lake Woodruff, and the alligators in Lake Apopka have got short penises, and the alligators in Lake Woodruff have got, have got humongous, normal-sized alligator penises. And the female alligators, of course, come walking along and decide which lake to go to. And they... All 
so I went progress that thought process but and also the human sperm count is going down which is pretty bad news and that's a bit dear to my heart and to another people out there's hearts too male traps are expressing this protein called vitellogenin and vitellogenin for those who don't know is a female egg protein so it's a bit weird you wouldn't expect male trout to express the female egg protein girls are reaching puberty earlier so the question is what the hell's going on the side effect is that men are being feminized and that's a fact Okay, I'm going to play that again because some of you didn't hear that. Once more. There's a few strange things going on out in the environment in a minute. You, at the moment, you'll see how this is relating to food in a few minutes' time. Alligators' penises are getting shorter, which is not particularly good news for the alligators. And there's a particular lake in, in the States called Lake Apopka in Florida, another lake next door, door to called Lake Woodruff. And the alligators in Lake Apopka have got short penises, and the alligators in Lake Woodruff have got, got humongous, normal-sized alligator penises. And the female alligators, of course, come walking along and decide which lake to go to. And they... <laughs> also, I won't progress that thought process, but... And also, the human sperm count is going down, which is pretty bad news, and that's a bit dear to my heart and to a number of people out there's hearts too. Male trout are expressing this protein called vitellogenin. And vitellogenin, for those that don't know, is a female egg protein. So it's a bit weird. You wouldn't expect male trout to express the female egg protein. Girls are reaching puberty earlier. So the question is, what the hell's going on? The side effect is that men are being feminized. And that's a fact. So I hope you heard him say the side effect is that men are being feminized. And that's a fact. If you're not familiar with TED, um, TED is Technology Entertainment Design, and they do these talks from high caliber people all over the world. And you can, all you have to do to find this video is just Google or YouTube search alligator penis is shrinking, and you'll find the whole thing. It's fascinating, and I urge you to do it. So moving on. So how this affects you, you, you may be thinking, who cares? Alligator penis is shrinking and male fish growing eggs, otter penis is shrinking. Like, who cares? So hopefully you've just seen him or heard him say men are being feminized. So here's one example. Operations to correct gynecomastia, which is man boobs, are skyrocketing. It's the number two cosmetic surgery now performed on men in the States. Figures published by the British Association of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons have shown that operations to correct gynecomastia have grown by 80% between 2009 and 2010. I need to get more up-to-date figures, but that's pretty scary. So what's happened to our sperm quality? Sperm quality has declined by 38% in a decade, 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 a decade, and a poor diet and lifestyle could be to blame. testosterone dilemma. I'm just going to read you out this highlighted part in yellow. So research, researchers have shown that testosterone, the hormone that confers masculinity, declines naturally with age. We all know that about a 1% per year after you hit your 30s or mid 30s, taking your muscle mass and libido with it. But emerging evidence suggests that men have less testosterone, less testosterone, less testosterone today than their fathers did, most likely owing to increasing rates of obesity and possible exposure to environmental toxins, i.e. estrogens. Let's go on. So how this affects you. Estrogen and estrogen-mimicking chemicals are causing men to be feminized. Here's a quotation from the European Society of Human Reproduction and Embryology Annual Conference in the United Kingdom. One recent analysis found that in France, that the sperm concentration of men decreased by nearly one third between 89 and 2005. One third between 89 and 2005. That's pretty scary stuff. I've heard that it's, it's declined by about a half in half a century. So the truth and fact of the matter is we are surrounded by the female hormone estrogen. So where does it all come from? So estrogen or estrogen mimicking compounds are found in fumes we breathe, cosmetics, deodorants, shower gels, shampoos. It's in our food supply and it's in our water supply. Just a quick one on GMO here. If you're in the States and you have any kind of corn 
or soy, you are massively increasing your risk of exposure to estrogen. There are studies done on corn by Monsanto. Um, watch this documentary, GMO OMG. It's fascinating. I think it, I think about 80% of corn is GMO, which means genetically modified organisms. And they did these studies on rats that um, after five months, they started developing tumors. Uh, after another 10 months, they had developed multiple tumors. Now, the studies that got approved by the FDA, which were financed by Monsanto, only went up to three months. Zero complications. After five months, they started developing tumors. Another 10 months, they had multiple tumors. And male rats had doubled their estrogen levels. Doubled. It's crazy, and it's all been approved by the FDA. It makes me mad. Anyway. Um, GMO, so that's corn, that's, that's soy. If you have soy, it's a phytoestrogen anyway, meaning it's plant derived. So steer clear of it, you know, like, like it's, uh, steer clear of it like the plague. It's, it's crazy stuff. It's horrible. Um, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about organic versus non organic soon, but I just saw that GMO thing and I've not got any content as, or any slides on it. So they, there you are. Next. A harsh reality, estrogen not only leads to man boobs, lower sperm counts, and lower testosterone levels, but it promotes fat storage. So, it's, so this makes it very difficult to burn fat. Frustratingly, the more fat you store as a result of excess estrogen in your body, the more estrogen there is to circulate in the body, resulting in additional fat storage. Not only that, but the more belly fat you carry, the lower your testosterone levels will be. And this is because belly fat contains the enzyme aromatase, which converts testosterone into two forms of estrogen. So I hope you're starting to see the big picture here. It's a downward spiral. If you're suffering from any of the symptoms of low testosterone mentioned earlier, you'll now understand it's not your fault. We are being drugged by multi-billion dollar food corporations with little or no concern for our health. Only their profit, a trillion dollar pharmaceutical industry which provides band-aid solutions to problems which never treat the cause, only the symptom, and all drugs have all drugs have detrimental side effects. Even the water we consume is not necessarily safe. We said earlier in that report that the contraceptive pill is being washed into the sewers and into the lakes and rivers. 70% of Western women are on the contraceptive pill. What happens is they pass it in their urine and it goes into the sewers, makes its way to the water filtration plants, and the water filtration plants can't extract it. So it ends up being recycled into the water that we drink. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Uh, so you think, right, buy bottled water, and then you have another problem because bottled water – if it's not, if it's BPA plastic, it actually emits estrogen kind of chemicals into the water, particularly when their bottles are warmed up. So the safest thing to do is actually to consume, um, well, either if guaranteed spring water, particularly if you're in the States, or water that's filtered through a reverse osmosis filter, which actually extracts the hormones and you can buy them on Amazon. Um, but you want one which replaces the minerals because the reverse osmosis actually extracts the minerals as well. So you want one which replaces the minerals. Anyway, let's move on. So what's the solution? Naturally, I have good news for you. It's not too late. Otherwise, it's not, you know, if I was going to be all doom and gloom now, it's not going to be much help for you. So you can build your testosterone levels back up. What's the solution? Hi, I'm Neil Cannon, the author of Mojo Multiplier. This is how you raise testosterone completely naturally with nutrition and exercise. So this is done with, with no drugs and completely naturally. I went from that on the left, admittedly not that kind of overweight, um, but I, I always wanted to get really trim and get down to single body, uh, single figure body fat. And this is how I did it in this program that I'm going to share with you. So I told you at the beginning of this, the program or the webinar that I was going to share with you some boost, some testosterone boosting tips. So like I just said, you can purify your drinking water with a reverse osmosis filter and make sure it's one that replaces the minerals. Uh, careful when drinking bottled water. Much of it is only purified, meaning that they can't actually extract the hormones. 
And of course, some of the plastics contain BPAs, which uh, emit estrogen mimicking compounds into the water, particularly when they're warmed up. So just be wary about how you consume your water. The best thing is to purify it properly using reverse osmosis or another form that guarantees the removal of hormones and carry it in BPA free plastics or things like camelbacks or, um, or tin. Next, stick to everything organic to avoid hormones, antibiotics, preservatives, herbicides, and pesticides. Here's the non-organic situation. Growth hormones are used in, um, across animals, particularly cows in the US. In Europe, they're banned. Over here in the US, they're still allowed. So cows are being pumped full of growth hormone to fatten them up, so the farmers get more bang for their buck. But this they fatten them up with estrogen and it gets recycled or gets passed through to the meat that we eat and the milk that we drink. It's a horrific situation. So unless you're consuming organic grass-fed beef, chances are that every bite you take of something is putting some kind of estrogen into your body. Um, oh, there's another thing. If they're not um, actually being injected with growth hormone, a lot of other animals are actually fed a very unnatural diet of grains uh, and corn, which is genetically modified, which I said earlier, actually increases estrogen. So one of the best ways to boost testosterone is like this, you burn belly fat. And the reason for that is because it contains the enzyme aromatase, which converts testosterone to two forms of estrogen, as I said earlier. So the more belly fat you have, the, the lower your testosterone levels are going to be. The key here is to become insulin sensitive. And I won't go too much into this now, but it's um, the, the typical standard American diet, sad, does not promote this. The typical standard American diet leads to type 2 diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, increase, and increases the risk of stroke and heart disease. Um, because we're put on the road towards insulin tolerance, which is exactly the opposite of what we want to achieve. And the diet that's put in our faces through the media, advertising, and in schools is horrendous. Um, and it's time, we've really time now to take control of what we're eating because it's a pretty scary situation. Over two thirds of America are now obese. Um, and it's expected that our children are going to die before us in this generation, down to and that's down to obesity and the diet that's being put in our faces. Uh, belly, I've also put belly fat is also unsightly, we know that, but if you can get rid of it, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, it's best for you because it um, has other side effects as well. So here's another one. Um, alkalize every morning with lemon water and cayenne pepper. So I don't know if you know about acid and alkaline, but um, if we live a diet which is full of meat um, and if we're stressed and if we exercise hard, I don't know how hard you exercise, but if you exercise hard, that's also acidic. So we need to actually alkalize our bodies, alkalize our blood, um, because um, an acidic environment breaks down muscle tissue. It breaks down you know, muscles we have in, that we think of every day as in our long arms and legs, but also our organs. And you know, our heart is a muscle. You may have heard of really um, fit or supposedly fit athletes who just keel over and die, it's often because they live in a, ver a very acidic lifestyle. So we need to alkalize our body with green drinks. And one of the best tricks is to have water with lemon every single morning, half a pint of water or half a liter, sorry, a pint or half a liter of water with half a lemon. And this alkalizes your entire system. It's one of the best ways of starting the day. Um, you've probably seen the, I'll put here, yeah, an acidic environment leads to muscle tissue breakdown and bone density breakdown. So osteoporosis can actually pre be prevented by keeping yourself alkaline. So osteoporosis is when the acid eats away at your bone. We, we weren't actually designed to shrink as we grow, grow older. Um, we weren't designed to just go back into the ground. We were designed to stay the same height. And it's our diet, it's an acidic lifestyle that actually causes us to shrink. Um, green drinks, green, um, you know, green drinks with vegetables are an excellent way of alkalizing. So wheatgrass, brilliant, spinach, broccoli, kale, etc. Get plenty of those into your diets. 
They also support your liver, which is your metabolizing, fat metabolizing organ. Um, and alkalizing your body also helps to regulate hormones. It helps to balance them. So it helps to increase your testosterone if you're a guy. In fact, it's brilliant for women as well. Um, next one. So lift weights twice a week. If you don't do weight training, you really need to. Um, it's one of the best ways to actually um, increase testosterone. So I've put here, building muscle increases testosterone. Building muscle increases metabolism. Building muscles make you strong. Building muscle helps you burn fat. Building muscle makes you look good. Building muscle makes you look feel good. And building muscle reveals your outer merge mojo. So, um, so let's just do a quick... Um, description or I'll give you a quick synopsis of how this happens when you build muscle you tear the muscle tissue when you tear the muscle tissue your body needs to um, repair that much like it repairs a wound and you expend calories repairing that muscle tissue and that what that does actually raise your metabolism so you can actually you can actually turn your body into a 24 7 fat burning furnace by doing this twice a week, you work your largest muscle groups, you do compound exercises which span across the, the largest muscle groups in your body. You do this twice a week, there's no need to do it any more than that because if you do, it starts to have a counterproductive um, effect. So that's one of the best ways to increase testosterone. When you build muscle, you increase testosterone as well. Next, ditch endurance cardio and engage in sprints. So endurance cardio leads to the release of the stress hormone cortisol. Cortisol breaks down muscle tissue. And when you break down muscle tissue, that slows down your metabolism, which is exactly what you don't want. This is why fad diets, you know, yo-yo diets, where you just starve all the calories, you starve yourself, never, never work in the long run. They never last in the long run um, because you, your metabolism slows down. So when you start eating again, it actually, you end up just putting on more weight than you started off being or more fat than you had beforehand because your metabolism has slowed down. Um, breaking down muscle tissue lowers your testosterone, so you don't want that. Breaking down muscle tissue makes you look weak and feeble. <laughs> look at this. Which one would you rather look at? The guy on the left, sorry, which one would you rather look like? The guy on the left or the guy on the right? Obviously, they, they're, <laughs> they're different in appearance, but you can see that the guy on the left is uh, he looks weak and feeble. F feeble looks like he's going to kill over and die at any point. The guy on the right looks ripped, toned, muscular. How you know how a woman wants your their man to be. So high intensity interval training builds muscle. High intensity interval training increases your heart stroke volume. That's the amount of blood your heart pumps per beat. Hit increases your pulmonary performance. That's the that's your lung capacity. Hit increases testosterone. Hit increases your metabolic rate, your metabolism, so you burn fat whilst you're not working out, whilst you're sleeping. Hit makes you look like a man and not weak and feeble. Now, more tips. Have sex. It's one of the best ways of increasing testosterone. Have sex. And sleep. It's essential in hormone balancing and, uh, yeah, get plenty of sleep and also de-stress. Very bad for um, hormones. If, you, if you're stressed, you release that stress hormone cortisol that breaks down muscle tissue. Also, with, without enough sleep, you tend to have more cortisol. So that's not good for testosterone either. The weird and wonderful tip I promised, power poses. This is actually another TED Talk. This woman, I can't remember the name of her now, but just Google or search in YouTube for power poses and testosterone. You'll come across this one. It's fascinating. Our physiology can affect our hormone secretion, and we can produce more testosterone by standing in a position of power. That's when you're you know, striking that pose that she's holding or with your hands behind your head, um, just heart out and showing your neck when you're you know in a position of authority you actually um ex secretes testosterone it's crazy do it <laughs> when you're next in an interview or something no, no bad idea i was about to say when you're next in the interview just sit there on the chair with your hands behind your head don't do that right um 
what I'm going to actually offer you now is some coaching. So you can actually take everything that you've just learned and apply it in your life. Um, and I'm going to work with you one on one to actually do this. So what, you can, what we can actually do right now is go and implement everything that I've just taught you. I've actually taught you loads of stuff. I hope you've taken notes. Um, you can for sure go and implement that. Just be careful with what you eat and drink and and you can follow my blog and you can just you can get all the information you need or a lot of the information you need. But I'm going to offer you com- some coaching so I can actually get you the results that you want. So 80% of success, I got this from Tony Robbins, 80% of success in anything we do is down to our psychology. The rest is mechanics. Will you apply what you have just learned? I'm here to offer you my time, one-on-one and live weekly webinars to support you to become the best version of you. Here's what you will get. You'll get access to a members portal where you'll find an eight-week strength and conditioning program um, because I've actually teamed up with a guy called Lon Ray from fit for la who's uh, trained to teach P90X. P90X is one of the top programs. You've probably heard of it if you're from the US, um, created by Beachbody, which is almost a billion-dollar company now. It's massive. He teaches that. This is an eight-week online fitness program designed to support you to build muscle, burn fat, give you more energy, enhance motivation and confidence so you can get your mojo back. That's one of the things you'll get access to. Please allow myself to introduce myself. Sorry, that's on Austin Powers and Lawn Ray. That's me on the left. That's Lonry on the right. These are just a few of the exercises we're going to be doing. We're actually going to be filming something this week, which is going to be brand new. Have you ever heard of muscle confusion? This is when you do the same exercises over and over again. This is a P90X thing, by the way. When you do the same thing, same exercises over and over again, your muscles get used to them. Your body figures out the most efficient way to maintain muscle health, and you reach a plateau. That's when nothing else happens. You stop building muscle. You stop stop having the fat burning effects. When you mix it up, your muscles don't get used to it and your efforts are far more effective with noticeable gains. So we've called this training program Mojo Multiplier Maximum. So I said 80% of success in anything we do in life is down to our psychology and the rest, 20%, is down to mechanics. If you think about it, the mechanics of any fitness training program regime are straightforward. You just need to change your eating habits and do the recommended exercises. Simple, job done. So why doesn't everyone do that? The psychology of committing to a fitness regime is the most challenging part to get right. So go back again. The mechanics are easy. The psychology is hard. Mechanics easy, psychology hard. Challenging. Let's say challenging. So why do so many people give up? Have you ever started something and not completed it? For example, have you set yourself a New Year's resolution and given up after a matter of weeks? Unless you're a perfect individual who makes no mistakes, I'm guessing you can admit to that little faux pas. On the flip side, have you ever committed to something so strictly that you have achieved your desired outcome? I'm guessing the answer to that too is a resounding yes. We human beings are creatures of habit, whether you like that or not. Habits are what make us or break us. We're also driven by two key driving forces, pain and pleasure. More specifically, the need to avoid pain and the desire to gain pleasure. I hope that image on the right doesn't offend anyone. So I got this from peak performance coach Tony Robbins, who I've mentioned once or twice. Um, He says, the secret of success is learning how to use pain and pleasure instead of having pain and pleasure use you. If you do that, you're in control of your life. If you don't, life controls you. Brilliant. So there's one simple reason why you'll have given up on something in your life thus far. You associate more pain to taking action or committing to something than you do pleasure, or you attach more pleasure to not taking action than you do pain. Looking at procrastination, for example, why do people procrastinate? 
is because you attach pain to taking action. You, you know that if you actually take action, ultimately you're going to gain pleasure. But what's more real to you at the time is you perceive for there to be pain by taking action. So going back to this one again, so let's read that again. You associate more pain to taking action than you do pleasure, or you attach more pleasure to not taking action than you do pain, or you do not attach pleasure to your desired outcome. You do not attach enough pleasure to your desired outcome. So the pleasure of the outcome does not outweigh the pain of the process. Think back to a time when you committed to something and achieved your end goal. What do you think you focused on to achieve your end goal? Consciously or subconsciously, you'll have focused on the outcome and all the gains associated with it. The focus of your outcome far outweighed any perceived pain associated with the process of achieving it. I put perceived in the little stars there because let's think about a fitness program. We often associate pain to exercise, but when we get out there, and do it when we move our bodies, whether we jog or run or cycle or swim, when you're actually doing it, it's really quite pleasurable. It's actually, and you feel amazing afterwards. You never regret doing a workout. I say this to my coaching clients, you'll never regret doing a workout. You'll only regret not doing it. It'll catch up on you. So this is just a little snippet of what you're going to find in the trainings of Mojo Multiplier Maximum, which is inside this coaching program. So back to the one-to-one -one mojo coaching. You'll have access to this members portal where you'll find an eight-week strength and conditioning program with which I've teamed up with Lon Ray from fit for la who's the P90X instructor. You'll get three 15-minute sessions one-on-one -on -one with me every week for eight weeks. You'll also have weekly live webinars with Q&A over, over eight weeks. These are packed full of the latest information and guidance and advice on reducing exposure to estrogen and also raising testosterone the natural way. This is no drugs. And here's the next thing. A little, little, little bonus I'm checking in there. I've actually written this book and it's called, It's Not Weight Loss, It's Fat Loss. Turn Your Body Into a 24-7 Fat Burning Machine. Why a picture of a woman and why the title? Firstly, to keep your attention. Secondly, you can burn fat and gain weight. Yes, you can burn fat and gain weight. Remember me saying I hate the term weight loss? I do with a passion. I experienced firsthand gaining weight and burning fat. I kept on weighing myself to measure my progress, and despite knowing I looked slimmer, I was gaining weight. Why? Muscle is more dense than fat, and one of the most efficient ways to burn fat is to build muscle, so you burn fat for days after your workout. I was toning muscle. The key to burning fat is to increase your metabolism permanently, so you burn calories while you are sleeping. Also, you want to become a fat burner rather than a carbohydrate burner, which is what I talk about in my training. It's all about regulating your hormone insulin, which is your fat burning hormone. Most of us, the, the typical American diet is all about burning carbohydrates for energy. I'm going to be teaching you how to burn fat for energy. It's, it's completely new. Well, you may have come across it, but it's, um, it's fairly new. I'm going to be teaching you how to do this. You want to look trim. You want to look masculine. Who cares how much you weigh? No one cares. So the last thing you want to do is to weigh yourself to measure success and to be disappointed by your apparent progress and let your motivation be harmed and destroyed. If you think you're, you should be losing weight in inverted commas and you weigh yourself and you see that you're not actually losing weight or even gaining, that's going to sabotage your, your motivation. So this is why I feel the whole weight loss industry is heavily flawed. You'll get It's Not Weight Loss, It's Fat Loss um, inside the members area. This is the most concise guide to fat loss online. There's, there's no ball, no fluff, no waffle. It's 50 bullet points. Do this, don't do that. I'm the, it is concise. I'm all about being concise. So here's a little package uh, put together, and apologies for the appearance here. So in the middle, you've got the Mojo Multiply ebook. That's the, that's the main book of this program. On the left, you've got It's Not Weight Loss, It's Fat Loss. I've also got Fat Loss Motivation, Know Your Reasons, Achieve Your Outcome. This is com combining everything I've learned over two years and studying people like Tony Robbins and attending his seminars and also having a psychology blog for a few years, all about focusing on mind and achieving, out, achieving goals. 
uh, goal setting and visualization and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's all in that book. I've also written a book called The Truth About Exercise. Here you will find out some of the main benefits that you get from well, all of the main benefits you get from exercise. We live in a culture and society which is very sedentary these days. We're all Most of us are in chairs for eight hours a day. Um, the chair, as I've heard recently, is one of the worst inventions ever for our backs, and it's causing major problems. It's causing, it's causing major problems in our spines, and when your spine isn't in good condition, other parts of your body start to suffer. That's just one thing. Um, did you know that your immune system doesn't work unless your body is moving? Your um, oh, the name of that. Your Yes, your immune system doesn't work properly. Where you see, sorry, your lymphatic system. Thank you. I had a mind blank for a second. Your lymphatic system um, is your system that flushes all the waste and dead cells out of your body. When you when you don't move your body, this lymphatic system doesn't work. It doesn't have a pump like your blood like your blood system has. The lymphatic system has to operate by moving your body. So if you don't move your body your immune system doesn't work properly and you get ill, Ill easily. It's crazy. Um, th that's why our bodies need to move daily um, to be healthy. I can't remember the last time I was ill. I literally cannot remember the last time I was ill because every single day I move my body. I do strength training and cardio and HIIT uh, and I feel great. Plenty of energy. Anyway, moving on. That's not enough about me. So more one-to-one -one coaching in Mojo Coaching. You'll have access to the members portal. So you'll get this eight-week training program. You'll have three 15-minute sessions one-on-one -on -one with me every week for eight weeks. You'll have weekly live webinars with Q&A every eight weeks. This is with everyone on the course. Um, you'll have access to the Mo Mojo Multiplier, the ebook, Fat Loss Motivation, Know Your Reasons, Achieve Your Outcome book, The Truth About Exercise. This will change your perspective on moving your body regularly for the rest of your life. This isn't just an eight-week kind of yo-yo diet plan. This is a lifestyle change. This whole course is about a lifestyle change that you can commit to to for the rest of your life it's quite a claim but that's my aim with this course and finally that little uh, it's not weight loss it's fat loss 50 bu 50 bullet point do this don't do that what would all this be worth to you let's recap so the benefits of increased testosterone you'll have more energy mentally and physically you'll improve your motivation your mental clarity and your focus you'll have enhanced libido and sex appeal you'll build muscle you'll burn fat that's losing weight in inverted commas you'll improve your confidence and self-esteem and you'll get your mojo back what's that worth to you Are you now the woman of your dreams? Maybe you are. Are you going to keep her? No, let's not, let's not put pain into your life. I'm just putting these questions out to you. Do you have your dream job? Are you living your perfect lifestyle? Are you spending as much time as you'd like with the people you love? Are you spending time doing the things that you love? Are you doing the hobbies and sports, recreation, holidays? Are you attracting the best people into your life? Are you the best version of yourself? What would an improvement in all of these areas mean to you? What would that translate to in terms of value? If you were to get all of those things, or at least some of them, achieving those results in some of those areas, what would that be worth to you? What would a transformation like that translate to in terms of financial investment? So how much is a personal trainer? I'm living in LA at the moment. And it's at least $100 an hour. It could be, I don't know how much it is in, else, in other states across the US. Um, I don't know where you could be in um, Australia, you could be in Canada, you could be in England, you could be anywhere in the world. Um, I'm just using this as a guidance, but in the States, it's typically $100 an hour. In England, it's about 67 to 70 pounds an hour, which is about the same. So if you do three sessions a week for eight weeks, that's about $2,400. Now, granted, I'm not going to be with you, actually hold it in the gym with you and running with you, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of the value because I will be um, speaking to you every three times a week for, you know, 15 minutes each time, maybe longer. I'm not going to be really strict with it, um, but you'll have my time three times a week. Um, will they be teaching you anything about psychology? I'm going, to get, I'm going to be giving you a lot of insight into human psychology. I find it fascinating. I'm passionate about it, and I'm here to make massive changes, and I'm going to be share, sharing all of this with you. Will they be teaching you anything on goal setting, inevitability thinking? Inevitability thinking is creating for yourself goals 
which um, you achieving them is inevitable. So as an example, um, if, if you were to hold uh, a seminar, if you were to hold a live seminar, you set yourself a date. You Once that date's there and you've got people signed up, you you have no other you have no option but to make sure that happens because if you if you don't show up and you don't be you know produce the best presentation you've screwed up so this is about setting up um, events so the outcome of which are inevitable it's a pretty pretty it's like the it's a pretty cool concept and it's like the next um, it's like goal setting on uh, on steroids it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to be teaching you about that. I'm going to be teaching you about pain and pleasure. And so you actually achieve your outcome. You know, most fitness programs don't talk about psychology at all. And there's going to be a massive amount in this program. So um, here, drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. I'm just wondering what's going through your head right now. I'm soon going to find out. <laughs> when I get a response from you. So I'm gonna ask you for a one-off payment, which is fully refundable, by the way. If you don't receive, if you don't achieve results, I'm all about uh, transformations. I'm about creating for you results. If you don't get results, then I've not done my job. So I will happily refund you. This is a live webinar. It's going to be online. Um, you know who I am, you know where I live. It's all about providing value. So I get for you your transformation. All I require from you or ask for from you is commitment. Um, so I'm happy to refund if you don't get results. So one off payment for you is 997. That's for eight weeks. It's like an eight week transformation. Um, there, are, there are no deals. There's no kind of, you know, pay and two sums and or you know pay in two sums and pay less or pay now one lump sum that's it it's 997 so to get your uh coaching program to secure your place which starts to tomorrow by the way um go to mojomultiplier.com forward slash coaching and then you'll find um, an add to cart button which will take you straight through you can pay with credit card or paypal i'm only accepting 15 people as I don't have any more room in my schedule. This actually requires my time. So I, I literally cannot accept more than 15 people into this program. This is no scarcity marketing tactic. This is, um, you know, this is actually starting tomorrow live and my time is live. Uh, this is real. So yeah, please go to mojomultiplier.com forward slash coaching. You will find a buy button, hit that, and I will see you for coaching tomorrow. So one-on-one -on -one coaching, mojomultiplier.com forward slash coaching. Thank you. Oh, are there any questions? I almost forgot, almost forgot. Okay. Got a few, got a few questions. Okay, Mike, first question, uh, worried about being quite overweight. How long, how long are you going to get the results? How long is it going to be to get the results? Every, um, this is going to vary for every single person, Mike. So if you, um, it really, like I said, this, is, this isn't like a yo-yo eight week starvation plan. Once you apply everything here, you can go on uh, and it's a lifestyle change and you can just commit. And these changes will go, you know, hopefully you'll be able to do this for forever. Um, but you'll definitely notice changes in eight weeks, for sure, if you commit. I'm going to be teaching you so much. I'm going to be teaching you about juice cleansing, which is one of the best ways of um, dropping fat super fast and safely, because you can actually get most, of the, if not all nutrients you need from juicing. Um, I'm going to direct you to a few different documentaries I've seen on this, which will fill you in with loads of awesome information. Um, I'm going to help you with that and talk to you about the science behind that. Um, but yeah, for sure, in eight weeks, it doesn't matter how over, you know, if you consider yourself quite overweight, you will definitely see improvements. I've, I've already seen coaching client changes i've been with my current lot for like three weeks and they're already saying they've got way more energy and um dropping off the pounds super fast and it's all about regulating the hormone insulin so yeah get involved 
Damn. Okay. Um, you already, you've already got high levels of tea. Okay. Um, you want to get fit? Brilliant. Come and uh, get get involved. Um, I bet I can get those testosterone levels up even further. Um, just by I can share with you some principles that I shared. Just from the office space where I work out of. There's a guy who is actually. Um, he's younger than me, so I'm 34. He's younger than me. He's been put on hormone replacement therapy, so he's taking synthetic testosterone and a drug for his thyroid because that's what his doctor has put him on. And I was like, whoa, 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 uh, what are you doing taking drugs? I'm sure this can be solved with your diet. He ran me through what he was eating every single day from start to finish, and I was like, right, make this change, this change, this change. Um, and I talked to him all about insulin and in a week, he said he's dropped four pounds and he's, had, he's got more energy. He's got less tightness in his thyroid. Um, it's crazy the changes you can get with this. Um, and it's completely natural. The beauty about everything that I'm going to teach you is all natural. We, we don't need to take drugs. Drugs, drugs are meet the evil. We don't need them. You know, only in the absolute last resort do we need drugs. Um, we can we can solve most health problems naturally through our diet but just by being mindful of everything that we're eating we can pretty much solve anything do you know type 2 diabetes can be solved just by removing sugars and high gi carbohydrates from your diet that's all that it takes to, to cure type 2 diabetes which is a cause of insulin tolerance and i've seen so many reports of these now of just people curing type 2 diabetes by removing sugar high gi carb sorry glycine GI is glycemic index, so high GI carbs from your diet, and this can actually reverse the symptoms of type 2 diabetes. You can reduce inflammation, uh, high blood pressure, and obviously burn fat purely by gaining control of your insulin. And when you get control of your insulin as well, your hormones regulate and you can increase your testosterone. So um, anyway, back to this guy. He told me that he's experienced results in one week. So um, yeah. I thought that was an awesome little story um, and it made me feel great. So yeah, you may be in great shape and I can help you get into even better shape. Uh, got a few of these. Ben, how do we know if we get results? Oh, one thing I didn't mention um, is what we can do is get your hormones tested now and again in eight weeks and you will see uh, an improvement if you commit to this so you can get your doctor I, I believe on your health insurance you can get your hormones tested for free if you don't i think it's about 100 bucks um and you can have them tested at the beginning of eight weeks and then again eight weeks later um sorry beginning of the program then eight, eight weeks later and if you see results um you'll know it's working um yeah so yeah let's get let's get your hormones tested i'm confident that we can improve on them david um you've started a million and one um i've started a million and one coaching programs not stuck with them start stop start stop well yeah, I can help you with that. Like I was talking about psychology, everything is about 80% of success is down to psychology, 20% mechanics. So I'm going to help you with psychology right through to the end of the eight-week program. And going on, if you want to continue having my support, um, you know, once you've got results, I'm happy to support you. But hopefully we will have established momentum uh, new habits, you know, it takes 21 days to form a new habit. If we, if I can support you in creating new habits, then past the eight week program, you'll already have new, new habits. So yeah, I'll support you with that. Okay. There aren't many more questions. Uh, yeah, no more questions now. Yeah. Okay. Um, questions are done. Thank you again. Thank you again for your time. Uh, wow, that's almost an hour on the dot. So thank you so much for your investment of your time on this Sunday evening. Um, I hope you've got tremendous value from this. Um, you can just take everything I've taught you and um, apply it into your life. And you will see 
noticeable improvements without a doubt. So yeah, enjoy. Follow my blog at mojomultiplier.com. Opt in to the email list if you'd like to be updated. Um, but I really hope you can, um, yeah, I really hope you decide to invest in yourself and get the coaching. I'd love to coach you. Um, I love talking with people, connecting with people, forming new relationships. Um, yeah, so go to mojomultiplier.com forward slash coaching. I'm going to close it at midnight PST, which is, well, six hours. So, yeah, I hope to see you uh, on the other side. And um, I've just realized I'm going to put my, I don't think my phone number is on there. I'm going to put my phone number on that page. So if there's any problems processing a transaction, you can call me. So I will see you in the members area. Thanks. Thank you again for your investment of your time and enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening. Thank you.